Hello, and welcome to Japanese Craft Beer Reviews. Today, we will look at a beer from uh, a brewery that doesn't get out and around so much outside of its local area. You may have seen it somewhere, uh, perhaps in Tokyo, uh, but I've never seen it really uh, exported or exported, uh, distributed in the area where I live. Uh, I went to the source to get it uh, a few weeks back on a trip. And that brewery is <clears throat> Oriental Brewing in Kanazawa. And this is a, uh, a relatively new. They started in 2016. Uh, and they have, so they've been around about, about six, seven years or so. And they are located in the city of Kanazawa, which is the capital of uh, Ishikawa Prefecture. I'll try to put a map up here so you can see where where uh, Kanazawa is. Uh, Ishikawa is a peninsula that kind of sticks out into the uh, Sea of Japan, or if you live in Korea, the East Sea. Um, and uh, not to be confused with uh, Oriental Brewery, which is a Korean concern, a rather large brewery, which has been bought up by AB InBev. Uh, and they're the makers of things like Cass and Height beer, which you may have seen. Um, <clears throat> Oriental Brewing uh, has listed or has 18 beers listed on Rate Beer, and on Untapped a total of 77 different beers. Now, Untapped is unmoderated, and I suspect that quite a few of those 77 are probably duplicates uh, of you know so somebody entered a beer and somebody entered the same beer as a you know, slightly different name perhaps. Uh, so established in 2016 and they have uh, pubs in Kanazawa and uh, three three different pubs uh, and their brewery is located in the uh, Higashiyama district uh, close to what's called the uh, 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 Chayamachi, Higashi Chayamachi tea district uh, and also in Korimbo and uh, one in Kanazawa Station, a pub there. In fact, I visited that pub uh, a few years ago when I went to Kanazawa. Um, so they're, they're, you know, I think they're expanding somewhat. Uh, I think they have a brewery planned or perhaps already built in the uh, Yuwaku Onsen area. Uh, so I did go to their pub in Kanazawa Station uh, in 2019 and I uh, went back again uh, about two, three weeks ago to Kanazawa on a short trip. It's in a very nice city, uh, very pleasant. Uh, uh, some people call it a, a little Kyoto. Uh, there are other places in Japan that also say that they are a little Kyoto, but in this case it might be, you know, might be apt. A very nice castle, uh, uh, castle, a beautiful park, one of the three top uh, uh, gardens in Japan. And also a wonderful museum, uh, 21st Century Museum of Art and, uh, uh, in the town. Uh, great seafood, uh, it's really, it's, it's a pleasant place to get away, you know, for a few days. So, um, okay, so the beer, uh, that's enough about Kanazawa, I'm sorry, Oriental Brewing, and I'll put some links to them on the description. Let's get to the beer. Right. And the beer we have to look at today is from Oriental Brewing. It is called Oriental Brewing Noto Shio Saison. Shio means salt, and Saison is the style. And, and so uh, basically the ingredients here are malt and hops and salt. The malt is specified as German. So uh, this is uh, a Saison style, and I think it's the first one they have made, as far as I can tell. Um, it's 5%, and I do not know the bittering units, they don't specify that. And on rate beer, this one has only one rating, that is at 3.3, hmm, sort of, so-so. Uh, untapped 124 ratings, 3.42 out of 5, so a little bit better. Uh, they do say that the salt is Noto Sea Salt, and Noto is the name of the peninsula, uh, the area uh, around there, around Kanazawa, uh, the peninsula that sticks out into the ocean is called the Noto Peninsula, Noto Hanto. And uh, 
this beer cost 550 yen, which would be $3.83 US terms, and in euros it would be 3.47 euros. Okay, so I don't really know a lot about this beer except I think it's the first Saison they made, and it's interesting that they added salt to it. Uh, that should give it uh, an interesting, different dimension. Uh, Saisons generally don't include salt, uh, and so I, I always, I'm always interested when people try new things. Uh, sometimes they work, and sometimes they do not. Let's see this here. Saisons are a wonderful style, generally light, refreshing beers. Okay, so this is kind of a sort of a murky, I don't know what to call this color, uh, kind of amber purple, uh, maybe plum juice or something like that, and a uh, very thin sort of sloppy head, frothy foam. And the aroma. Okay. Now I do get a light sort of Belgian yeasty note, but it not specifically Saison, uh, but light, some light esters, perhaps something wheaty. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They don't specify that it's, it's uh, wheat or not, but it's just German malt. Uh, I would assume that there's some wheat in this. So it does have a light wheat note, uh, something like a very mild Hefeweizen. Okay, okay. Uh, again, thin maltiness, definitely some, some wheaty aspect to it. Um, the Saison, uh, Saison yeast is, is uh, more Belgian-y again than, than Saison. Kind of generic sort of belgian -y sort of note. Uh, uh, belgian yeast often tend to give a lot of nice fruity esters and there are some here. Yeah, very light peach, maybe some apple in this as well. Uh, it's not crisp, it's not uh, as refreshing, the carbonation is very minimal. Um, yeah, so I think as a Saison it's not entirely successful. The salt is apparent in the initial flavor. Um, it kind of hangs on throughout. Uh, that's an interesting note. Um, definitely adds something different to this beer. But overall, I think, uh, as a Saison, it's not the greatest. Uh, uh, I don't think I would rate this terribly high, maybe 3.1 or 3.2, something like that, out of 5. Uh, once again, it's called Oriental Brewing Noto Shio Saison, 5% Saison, with salt added to it. Okay, So you may try this if you go to uh, Kanazawa. Perhaps on tap it has uh, got a fresher... A crisper sort of taste, maybe better carbonation. But overall, yeah. Okay, well that's it. Uh, please let me know your experience with Oriental Brewing, uh, if you've had some of their beers, uh, or other beers in the uh, uh, Kanazawa area. There are several other breweries up there too as well. That's it for today. Please do subscribe to the channel and uh, uh, hope to hear from you sometime. Bye-bye.